Hi, I'm Biv Wadden with Devoted Golfer TV, and today I'm here with both Brian Payne and Alex Pedenko. They're with Swing Bite, and uh, I uh, recently had a great opportunity to meet these two. Uh, it's an interesting story. This is a device that you put on your golf club. It tracks the swing of the club, but uh, these two met in a very interesting way. They're both students at the University of Chicago. Brian happens to be former winner of the Illinois Open. He's an outstanding golfer. And Alex Padenko is a prodigious mathematician out of math Michigan State University. They're both uh, in school together at the University of Chicago. And there's been this fantastic chocolate and peanut butter that's come together to produce a very exciting new product. Uh, Brian, can you tell us a little bit about what you've created? Absolutely, Viv. Happy to. In fact, here's Swing Bite on your golf club. Lightweight sensor that weighs, weighs less than one ounce. Mm -hmm. Transmits and communicates with any Android or Apple phone or tablet via Bluetooth to almost as done as you almost as soon as you're done with your follow through to give you a 3D rendering of your swing on your chosen device. Now, now blow that up a little bit. Our viewers won't be able to see it, but I want to give them a sense for. Sure. So what? So you just hit a shot, and it comes back, and it's swinging this club for you. How in the world is it doing this? What kind of technology are you using? I think you'll have to talk to that guy oh, for that answer. Our mathematician. Yeah. Here we go, Alex. It's, what kind of technology is it? It's pretty using? similar to things you find inside of a Wii Mote, a Nintendo mm -hmm. Wii. Uh, a little bit, the, the components are pretty similar. The math behind it is a little bit more precise because it has to be for the golf, uh, for, for a golf shot. But the basic idea is about the same. Good, good, good. So this produces a, a whole variety of, of metrics with respect yes, to definitely. your swing. Can you talk about those? Yeah, we, we basically know everything that's happening to the club. Um, so the sensor sits right there. We know, you tell us what kind of a club you're swinging. Mm -hmm. If you have a custom club, you say the different parameters, the lie, the loft, the length. And then from there on, we can extrapolate everything else. Uh, what the club is doing, how it's moving through space, what plane is it on, what lie angle, what loft angle, what's its face at impact, what's its face at address, all of those different things. So, so this could be very useful to make making sure that you, f you feel your clubs are fit properly. Definitely, definitely. In fact, one of the things that we show is your acceleration profile on here, and you can actually see how the club accelerates through space, and you can see where you have zones of speeding up and slowing down, um, and so you can see how that how a different club choice impacts that. Good, good, good. Now, now Brian, you're quite an accomplished golfer. Uh, tell me how you imagine using this to kind of help with your, with your swing and swing dynamics. Well, I'll speak first about how I like to use it and, and why then why I think it appeals to golfers of all skill levels. For instance, one of the things I was constantly working on as a professional golfer was my swing plane. I, I typically got very steep, would be across the line at the top, and then would be forced to make some compensations in the downswing. Now with swing bite, I know with certainty exactly what my swing plane is at here, all, let's, let's tip this up at here, all so. points throughout there's, the swing. There's Brian swinging right here. So not only do I have the visual of the club, but I can. we also can now quantify the plane angle at every point throughout the swing. So I know my initial plane here for this club was about 58 degrees. You can see halfway back I've gotten steeper. It's now about 65. Mm -hmm. Depending on what I want to achieve, I now know exactly what I'm doing. And if I want to uh, identify my plane in a more visual way, I can go to the plane lines and from the like a top down overhead view? view, from a top-down view, cool. that would essentially represent, if you had laser pointers coming out of either end of the golf shaft, yeah. what pattern would that draw on the ground? Yeah. So we think that appeals to more visually oriented people, and then we've got a whole suite of numbers we can show you about impact conditions as well. Well, Brian, I've got some very good news for you. Uh, uh, you fixed your swing plane problem because well, this club head, this club head is going up and back down in the identical, you know, arc. So uh, whoever you. your instructor is, uh, send him a, a cool. an extra Christmas present. Well, He's done a great you. job with you. Swing bike um, very helpful as yeah. well. And also to Alex, who's uh, just yeah. getting started in golf. We've been working on his plane lines mm -hmm. with swing bike. And he's made some pretty fast leaps. I would say faster than probably could have done without. Great, so great. Now, you, you you really haven't been a golfer historically, have you? Uh, the first time I pick up, picked up a golf club was about six months into working on swing bike. Good. And uh, have you gone out to play? Uh, only in virtual setups. Not, not yet. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. We'll, we'll get you out there. We'll Fair get enough. you out there. Well, thank you very much for uh, giving me an, an opportunity to introduce this product. Uh, Biv Wadden for Devoted Golfer TV. Thank you so much.